What's good, Relocation Football League fans? It's your boy Smitty, and here we are finally with the start of this 2K subscriber special. As you can see, everyone voted on him the MVP of the RFL, the guy who led the Gunners to a 15 and 1 record, only to fall short of a yard in the NFC Championship game to advance to the Relocation Bowl, losing to the Thunderbirds 20 to 15. Jabri Jackson in the building right here, as you can see. Everyone voted on him by a landslide. He ended up winning that vote pretty pretty good there. It was 59% in favor of him. The next closest was by 31%, which was Drake Crowell. So he definitely deserved it. And he will be our featured player. And of course, I put five teams out there for you guys to vote on. He had the Bucks. We had the Lions, we had the Jets, the Browns, and the Giants. And I put it up to you guys to vote on what team do you think is the best team to play for in this series for Jabri Jackson to try to win a Super Bowl for an NFL team in only one season. And after 70 poll votes on YouTube, it came back. The team with the most votes, a 39% voted on team the new york jets so we end up going there and man does jabri jackson look good and that green and white man we're about to turn this franchise around i skipped the preseason because i just felt just for this series just wasn't worth having uh us go through those games so we start here week one man versus the lions jabri jackson comes in 96 overall as a New York Jet man, superstar development, even though we're only spending one season here, of course the experience is off, as it says he's a rookie, but 6'5", 238 pounds, 25 years old, out of Texas A&M, MVP of the RFL, runner up for the NFC Championship, this guy has what it takes, I believe, as we all believe, from the votes to take the New York Jets to the Super Bowl so let's see if we could get it done man uh, let's get a look at the roster that Jabri Jackson has to back him as far as his receivers and tight ends so in the backfield we got some pretty decent backs I mean we got those Isaiah Crowell uh, backed up by Powell in the back uh, so we should have a pretty decent run game in terms of wide receivers man we got some pretty good ones man we got a speedster on the outside starting for us robbie anderson out of temple man a beast in the nfl and i'm pretty sure for jackson he's definitely going to be a beast a target that we're going to like to go through uh a lot and also we got quincy and noon out of nebraska 81 overall wide receiver he got some good speed 90 speed with a 92 acceleration so we got some speed demons starting for us along with jermaine curse uh former seahawk man this we, we got some good receivers man i think we could get it done looking at the tight ends the tight ends um aren't that impressive in terms of overall but i mean we got a young guy right here maybe he can make some big plays for us and blossom man but uh looking at the offensive line looks like it's going to be a little bit of a struggle for us which is why it's great we did go with Jabri jackson because with these overalls that I'm about to show, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite some a uh, few times that J that Jackson's going to have to roll out of the pocket, man. I mean, you got a 77 overall starting left tackle, uh, Kelvin Beecham, uh, and at guard we got James Carpenter at 73, even worse. And we got at center 70 Jonathan Harrison. At right guard we got a pretty decent lineman right here at in Brian Winters. And then at the left tackle, back in the 70s with a 74, Brandon Shell. So we do not have a good offensive line whatsoever. That is definitely going to be a struggle. Um, so definitely got to make sure Debris Jackson has his carries outside of the pocket. And of course, guys, when it comes to skill level difficulty, in order for this to be as challenging as possible and not make it just an easy ride, we're going to have it all Madden difficulty. So it's going to be some tough games, man. But I'm, I believe that Jackson's really still going to be able to lead this team to a championship. What do you guys think? Make sure you comment below if you think Jackson's going to be able to lead the Jets to their, uh, to their second ever, I believe, 
championship ever since Joe Namath guaranteed it. Well, right now we got Jabri Jackson guaranteeing a Super Bowl this season. Let's see if he can do just like Joe Namath and get the job done. And as for the sliders, I mean, everything pretty much is at default. The only changes I have made is the run blocking. Put that at the slider set that I had for my uh, CPU versus CPU um, gameplay, mainly only because this is a good spot for the CPU uh, running backs to actually have some good games. I don't want to have it where I got to throw the ball every time and it just is unrealistic to have to do that because you can't run the ball against all Madden. So putting that run blocking at 80, I know is going to give my running backs a good chance in this franchise to be able to get up the field and make some plays and uh, just tune the fumbles down a little bit just by two because that's a sweet spot that I found when testing my CPU versus CPU gameplay sliders. Everything else is just about at default. I did change up the injuries though and made sure I made put that at a good spot and these are the same the game options are the same options for my CPU versus CPU gameplay with the fatigue at 65 it's going to make it a constant battle and grind to go down the field along with the speed threshold so this is going to be a tough one man and um, I feel like every game is going to be a challenge as it should so can't wait to get into the action. So week one, it's a Monday night primetime game in, in real life, man. The Jets dogged the Detroit Lions uh, in their game opener. I think they put up 50 points. I can't remember. What I, I just knew it was a blow. I was watching that game. Can't remember the score exactly. But both teams tied up overall-wise, 76 overall. And, I mean, this is going to be a good game, a good little storyline because we also had the Lions on the list as a possible team for Jabri Jackson to go to, and I'm pretty sure they're going to try to show him why he should have came over here on this side. Let's see if Jabri Jackson can show the reason why he made his decision and lead the Jets to the promised land. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Week 1, Jets versus Lions. So here we are, week one of the season for Jabri Jackson of this series. He's got one year to bring the Jets to the promised land. First game against the Lions who offered him a job. And let's see if we can knock them off first. Should make for a very exciting game. How do you guys think Jabri Jackson is going to do in this one? Well, we'll find out, man. This should be very exciting for sure. And I think it's going to be a grind the whole fight. We got the Lions coming in wearing the blue, and we got the all-white coming into this game. This should be a great game. You see Jabri Jackson coming out with his team, and they are ready, and so are the Lions. Who's going to come out on top of this game with the victory? It looks like their highlight player that they want to mention here in this one is Kenny Galladay, 84 overall receiver. Man, I have to say the Lions did have some pretty good receivers, man. Got Jabri Jackson on the sideline, though, hyped up for his first NFL game as a New York Jet. And let's get this game on the road, man. It's showtime. So Jabri Jackson getting his first NFL start right here for the Jets. We got him coming up. Pistol formation time running down a little bit. Slants concept here. Let's see what he does on his first play. Looking back, dropping. First throw. Good, complete. On the slant to the 35-yard line, and Jackson... First pass in the NFL complete, one for one for a gain of 10 to Quincy Anunu. So coach wants us to pass it here, and man, you should should probably run it. And I'm not going to be greedy, so I'm going to change this play call up. Going to give it off to Isaiah Crowell. Bree Jackson snaps the ball, handoff, and there goes Crowell. I don't know where he's going, but he does get the first down at least. But man, I mean, he had a lane. He could have exploited somewhere up the middle. He goes all the way to the left. Well, at the end of the day, he gets the job done. We got a first down, and here we are at the 36-yard line. Got ourselves a tight formation here with our receivers. Got Robbie Anderson on that streak, and we got the mesh. I might hit these meshes here, so let's see what Jabri Jackson does. Wide open on the drag. There he goes. We got a first down. Looking good for Jackson so far, two for two. So a good little 11-yard gain right there out to Jermaine Curse. Here we are going with this drive concept right here. Let's see what Jackson could do here. Sending the Nunu in motion. See him coming across on the drag. Nice little spin off the tackle. That should be a good little gain of about four or five. So we're having success throwing the football. Why not keep throwing it? J 
Jackson here once again in the gun pro on the backfield I like that little wheel route if I don't have anything I'm pretty sure Jackson should go that direction so let's see what he does here on this play you get the snap and man these drag concepts are wide open we get that pass off and that's another big game first down four for four Jabri Jackson and his first NFL start for the Jets haven't quite ran the football, but let's get some uh, play action going here. I don't know where Jabri Jackson was just going right now. Looked like he was about to face the whole opposite direction. We've got some play action going right here. Might hit a no one with deep. We already know we got some speed demons. Play action. Got to let it go. And there goes the first incompletion. Didn't even have a chance to get that one off. So after that, I figured, hey, it's best we probably start running the football here to establish a play action play. So here we are. Going to run this one to the left side. Try to give this one off to Crowell to see what he could do. Jackson with the snap. They hand it off. There goes Crowell getting what he can. Still looks like it's difficult to run the football on this all Madden difficulty regardless. Big verticals concept we got coming up here for Jabri Jackson. Third down and eight. This is going to be a big pickup. I see nobody on Jerm Jermaine Curse there in the slot. So he might go that direction. Snap the football. And man, that was not a good pass. Should have probably took off with that one. At least threw it to X. Planning on doing that, but pressure just got there. Jackson ends up making a faulty throw. So the Jets end up scoring a touchdown. We're down 7-3. to three. And man, we ended up getting a field goal and everything, but you got to respond back and respond quickly. We're going back with this play action. He's open, throws on the run, and that's a beautiful pass for a first down by Jabri Jackson. We move the chains, and that is going to be the end of the first quarter. Three to seven is the score, man. Is Jackson going to be able to put the Jets back on top, or will the Lions end up getting this victory, spoiling the first game for Jabri Jackson? We'll have to see, man, as this game continues. Jackson feels he should start running this football a little bit more, but look, you can see the safeties rotating. Definitely a blitz, going to send some protection that way. And man, there's no concept really you can change this up to. That read option, wow. Now it's going to get scary here for the Lions, I can tell you that. But we'll see what we could do here. Jackson tries, but he gets taken down in the backfield, a three yard loss, man. If he could have got a block on that edge, there was nothing but open space for Jackson. Could have took that one possibly to the crib. So the Lions playing pretty tough right now, man. They really are. Bree Jackson facing a second and 13. The safety coming down, recognizing it. And Jackson's going to make sure that guy's picked up. We got Anderson in the slot. Snap the football. And man, these drags concepts. Are there for a good game. You gotta take it. The pressure's getting there kind of fast. And that's gonna bring up third and eight. Vertical concepts here for the receivers. We need eight yards. Jackson looking, throws right across the middle. He's got a completion for a first down as he's able to find Robbie Anderson. Big play right there on the deep crossing route. Actually, that was Jermaine Curse. So a pretty big play through the air just now with that one. Looks like they're really trying to key in against this run and we haven't even established it yet. But I think Crowell is going to be able to give us a good run here. So Jackson snaps the football, hands it off, and there goes Crowell with a nice tough run up the gut, out to the 28-yard line, 8-yard gain for the Jets. So second down and two. And I can feel that the, this defense is ready for a run. It could be man-to-man -man coverage, so we're going with out routes here. Robbie Anderson, we're looking for him. There he goes. Good throw by Jackson. And that is going to be a first down for the Jets. First down and 10. We're going here with a running back angle smash play. Kind of like this flag route with Jermaine Curse. But if nothing's open, definitely going to check this down to our main read to Isaiah Crowell. So on the shotgun, Jackson drops back, looking to pass. Things looking covered. Going to take off. Scramble by Jabri Jackson. Nice juke move. And he almost picks up the first down. And that's what Jabri Jackson does best, man, is scramble out of the pocket. Second down and inches for the Jets. Got a little crafty out of that pocket right there for Jackson. The read option play didn't work, but he at least finally able to get out of the pocket to make something happen. Here we are, inches short. Probably should run it, 
but why not give it a try? It's second down in inches. We could get in the end zone with a drag right here on this play. We're gonna look to pass, throws, completion, does not get in, but he does get the first down for the Jets. Jackson looking good so far. Can the Jets punch it in? So we reached the two minute warning, man. Jets down, three to seven. Jabri Jackson about to punch it in. Can we get the job done and head into the half up over the Lions? Let's not be selfish here. We got a situation where we can punch this in with a touchdown. And I'm thinking on handing this one off to Crowell. But man, it's not really looking too good. And so we're going to have to switch this up to a read option. Here we are, first and goal. Jackson snaps the ball. And there was just nowhere to go either way. Bad play. Jackson ends up losing yardage. And a second and goal back at the seven. Now it's a big play here back at the seven yard line. Second down and goal. Jabri Jackson in the gun. Crowell in the backfield with him. Got a two by two wide receiver set. Running the slant concept. Looking for whatever receiver could get open most likely on this slant. Jackson looking to throw. Open throws in the end zone. Touchdown Jabri Jackson and the New York Jets. His first career NFL touchdown pass, and the Jets will reclaim the lead over the Lions. You got Quincy Anuma getting open there on that slant, on that slant over Darius Slay, and that goes a great drive for Jackson. So we ended up getting the touchdown, taking the lead, but the Jets end up giving three points up after they get the possession over to the Lions. So we're just about to go on in the half. Only five seconds. Bree Jackson takes the knee. Heading into half, let's get it done, Jabri Jackson. Let's show the RFL, the, I mean the NFL, what the RFL is about, man. So at the start of the second half, the Lions offense gets stalled out. And it's first down and 10 here for the Jets. Jabri Jackson with a chance to put the, the Jets back up on top of the Lions. First and 10, here he goes, looking to pass. And he's going to scramble. And he'll get what he can. Probably should have hit the deck on that one, but he gets... Pretty good gain, six yards on first down by Jabri Jackson. Trying to look for some big plays down the field here, but some just has not really presented itself. Here we are, we gotta add some time here in the pocket for Jabri Jackson. Obvious blitz coming here off this left side with the safety. Gonna look to pass, man to man. And I know Robbie Anderson's gonna be open on that post. Big play, Jabri Jackson with a nice throw. First down and 10 for the Jets. Great throw by Jabri Jackson. 11 of 13 for 118 yards. I keep getting the names confused with the receivers. Got to remember that number 10 is Jermaine Curse. Keep thinking he's Robbie Anderson. This is supposed to be a read option play. Obviously not going to be a good play at this moment. We see a blitz coming. So we got to make sure that's picked up off that left side. Go at four verticals here. And look to pass. And man, it's this side wide open. Jackson down the field. And man, that's some good blocking. Fumbles, and that's going to be the Lions football. Oh, man, everything was looking good. Jackson trying to do a little extra, gets hit, can't hang on to the football, and it's going to be Lions football after the fumble. Man, he was doing a good job. Goes all the way down the field and coughs it up after a light hit. He, I guess he just put his helmet on the football, and he couldn't hold on to it. So after a big mistake on the fumble by Jackson, the defense does a great job. We end up getting the football back right here already in the Lions territory at the 32-yard line. Got a slant concept going right here. Jackson looking to pass. Throw up the field. Robbie Anderson on the slant for the first down as the Jets will move the chains. Bree Jackson got himself the dagger play called up here. Got one safety. This definitely looks like it could be cover three. So we might have to look at Robbie Anderson or maybe Curse here on this one. Gonna look to pass. And man, this is just wide open. He slides, takes what he can get. And that's gonna be second down and four. Another nice little pickup on the ground for Jabri Jackson. Gotta scramble with him, man. Nothing like a good old slant concept here when you're down in the red zone because if a guy gets beat, it's almost like an automatic touchdown. We're going to do something a little different though. Curse going up straight on a nine route. And we'll see if that can open up Anderson some more. It does. And he just cannot hang on to it. I don't know what happened there. But it looks like the whole linebacker just shifted all the way over there just to land that hit. Got 
the bench concept here. Looking for somebody to get open and he got a blitz. Safety shifting. Going to pick him up. Looking for somebody to get these four yards. And there he goes. Throws on the route to Jermaine Curse as he beats his man man to man on the flag. And that's going to be the second touchdown pass of the day for Jabri Jackson. And the Jets will retake the lead. That was a great route. Saw the mismatch. Big time play. Touchdown, Jets. Will score 17 to 10. The defense stalls out the offense of the Lions. And this looks like this could be a man-to-man -man play as well. We got some man-to-man -man beaters here. Let's see if the Titans can get it done. Throws on the move, on the money, and there we go with a big first down. Nice little juke move. First down for the Jets as they'll move the chains. It's going to be first and 10 at the 37. This is what Jackson does, man. He makes those throws on the move. And they just seem to just go exactly where he intends them to go. First down and 10. Don't get the playoff. And we're headed into the fourth and final quarter here of this Monday night primetime game. The first ever game in the NFL for Jabri Jackson. And he's having himself a pretty good one. No interceptions, a couple of touchdowns, maybe a fumble, but he's performing very well here in his first ever NFL career start. So a touchdown lead over the Lions. We see one safety high. This could be man-to-man -man coverage or cover three. We're going to see if it's man. Definitely going to throw it here to one of these out routes. Looking to pass. It is man-to-man -man coverage. Throws. Great throw. And that's going to be a first down as Jackson completes one out to Robbie Anderson. So we haven't really ran the football much. So we're going to go here with a run play. When you look at it, man, it's not looking too good. Try to go to that left side. We're going to have the blockers. Go towards that direction, as you can see. Audible, well, a little bit of play call changing going on there. You're going to run it, and there was a pretty good run there by Crowell. He's only got four carries today for 15 yards. I feel should probably feed him a little bit more. So why not go right back to the ground game? It's looking like they're stacked here. A lot of guys in the box, so we're going to change this up with some possible man-beater plays. Doesn't look like we have any, though. We've got to hurry up and get set. There we go, Jackson looking to pass. Nothing's there. There we go. Whoa. Tried to throw that one in the open space. Wide open was Quincy Anunwin. Man, he just missed that one. Big third down play here. Third and six. One safety high. We're going right back with the bench concept. Going to make the out routes at least get to the sticks. So a little bit of audible in going on right there. Third and six looking to pass. Throws. Great catch. It was a little bit risky. I just wanted to hurry up and get those chains for the first down moved. And we could trust Robbie Anderson as he makes the grab for the first down. Let's try to get this run game a little bit more established too. Here in the fourth quarter, let's eat up some clock. Read option. I really want to break off a big run here with Jackson. Let's see if he get it done. First and 10. Whoa, I tried to tell him to hand it off. I don't know what happened there, but he just let him keep it. On second and 14, we got some yards to try to get back here. And on this Salem route play call, we got, it looks like Herndon getting open. If he's open across the middle, don't try to strike him as he stretches up across the middle of the field. There we go, a pass deep down the field on the deep dig route. And Jackson able to complete for the first down to move the chains on second and 14. First and 10 at the 25 for the Jets. Another look at this throw, nice touch on the football. And there we are, first down with Quincy Anunwa, able to beat Darius Slay as he did before on the slant. Still haven't quite established enough of a run game to go with play action plays, but we're going to call one up here and we can see a blitz. Definitely got to change that up because we were headed that direction. Uh, nothing we can really change up to. Let's pick up the blitz though off of that right side that we see with the safety. And try to see what we can get here on this play. Man to man coverage tries to throw it and it is dropped. Thought he was going to probably be able to get open or at least make that catch in traffic. Unable to do so. Second down and 10 for the Jets. We got ourselves a nice little post route right here across the middle of the field again. This time with Jermaine Curse. On the outside, we got Matthews in the new one. I don't know where Robbie Anderson is. But we'll see if we can get a play here out of this one. The safeties are down a little bit closer than usual. So this is probably man-to-man. -man. So I'm relying on somebody to get open. 
We probably got to get this one away quick. So here goes Debris Jackson on the drop back looking to pass. It is man-to-man -man coverage. And I was looking for the comeback route. The post just took too long to get open. Jackson gets sacked. It is third down and 17 for the Jets. Third and 17, Debris Jackson all by himself. Five wide, empty, empty set for the drop back looking to pass. Throws and he tried to squeeze that one in between some tight coverage. Thought he was going to have the arm strength. Does got 98 throw power. So thought he was probably going to be able to squeeze that one in just enough between those defenders to be able to catch it and get upfield for the first down. Nice acrobatic play right there by the defense. So we end up kicking a field goal. Lions end up kicking a field goal, bringing the score now to a seven point game. And all we got to do is run the clock out. So here you are, first and 10. Hand off to Crowell, and he's going nowhere. Drop down at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Timeout called by the Lions. It's a little bit risky here. We're looking to kind of pass. Haven't thrown an interception. Been a couple of close calls. One on one out here. Looks like Anderson can definitely get us a big play. So what we're going to do, we're going to try something risky here. Max protection, Anunua or Anderson getting open. I don't see no safety help. Anderson should be able to burn the secondary. But he's not open. There goes a pass. Able to get this one to Anunwa. Trying to get the first down. And he falls just short. All we are our first down away from putting this game and getting our first victory of the season for Jabri Jackson. So third down and two. Man, we are relying heavily on getting this first down. At the end of the day, I don't think they got too much of a chance. Here we are going to pick up this blitz. Coming from this right side. Hopefully Crowell is going to be able to get this first down. Jabri Jackson, third down and two. Snaps the football. Hand off to Crowell. He's got the space. Where is he going? He ends up getting taken down. But at the end of the day, it took some time. And I don't think they'll be able to get the ball back. So we're, we're looking good right now. Lions are unable to get a possession. Clock hits zero. And Jabri Jackson in the Jets in their first game get their first victory over the Lions 20 to 13. So looking at the game stats, Jabri Jackson had 24 pass attempts, completed 18 of them. He threw for 206 yards, 75% on completions, two passing touchdowns, no interceptions. Very efficient in his first game. Uh, there were some plays that were a little bit off with some of his throws, but for the most part, he took what was there, was making good throws. As far as what he was doing excuse me, in the rush game, he had eight carries for 46 yards. Unfortunately, that one fumble, but the Lions did not take advantage. And so they were able to get themselves a possession. I think that was the one we scored on, and we took the lead. The receivers balled out pretty good for us. Let's just go to our receivers and look how they did. They did pretty all right. Nothing amazing, but two guys with a touchdown each. He had Quincy and Nguyen, six catches for 58 yards and a touchdown. And Jermaine Curse four catches for the same amount of yards with 58 for a touchdown. Robbie Anderson was making some big plays too. Four catches for 45. But as the season goes on, Jabri Jackson definitely going to get more acquainted with his wide receivers. And I feel that this is going to be a very explosive Jets offense. So after beating the Lions in week one in Jabri's first game ever in the NFL, 20 to 13, we move on to week two where we will take on the 0-1 Miami Dolphins, who did come up with a crazy upset over the Patriots in real life just yesterday. But, man, can't wait for this game. If you guys are hyped up about this series, Jabri Jackson, 1-0 with the Jets. Is he going to take them to the promised land? Can he even possibly do what he did with the Gunners, advancing the Jets to a 15-1 season or better? That would be crazy. But a championship has eluded this guy. This past season for the RFL, there's a chance he could get a championship here in the NFL. Still a long way to go. But if you are enjoying this season, make sure you smash that like button. Definitely going to help out the channel. Very much appreciate it. And subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you can get everything about the RFL, all the news, and also more information on the Debris Jackson series. Without further ado, that's going to do it here for this first episode of the Debris Jackson Special 2K Subscriber Series. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. It's your boy Smitty, RFL Commissioner and Play-by-Play -play Commentator, and I'm out. Peace.